गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट लिस्ट स्क्वेस रिग्रेशन एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज टू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो इन द लास्ट रिग्रेशन लेक्चर वी हैव सीन दैट इन स्टैटिस्टिक्स देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ वेरिएबल्स वन इज इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल एंड अनदर इज dependent variable so if we talk about an example the sales of a company is the dependent variable whereas time that is er is the independent variable hence it can be stated that dependent variable is dependent on independent variable so if we plot these data in a graph we will get a straight line here so if you didn't go through this last lecture i would highly recommend you to go through that lecture and the link is in the description box so the least square method is a statistical procedure to find the best fit for a set of data points that means a line has to be drawn as close as possible to all the points like this you can see that this line is very close to these data points so let's see an example so this is harry and he noted down hours of sunlight per day from monday to friday and number of fruits were produced so hours of sunlight is the independent variable and number of fruits is the dependent variable here we will check whether these two variables have a linear relationship like the previous graph or not so we have the data here so the first step is calculate x square and xy for each data like this and like this so we have calculated x square and xy for each of these data step 2 sum x y x square and xy so we will get summation of x summation of y summation of x square and summation of xy step 3 is calculate the slope that is m so this is the formula to calculate m in this formula m is the number of data taken that is 5 times here so if we put values here we will get that m is equal to 1.52 step 4 is to calculate intercept that is b so this is the formula to calculate b now if we put the values we will get b is equal to 0.3 step 5 is to put the values in the following formula so this is the formula for straight line that is y is equal to mx plus b now we know the value of m and b so y is equal to 1.52x plus 0.3 here now for each x that means for each independent variable
we can calculate y that is the dependent variable so this y gives you the theoretical values and this y gives you the observable values so this is the observable values and this y will give you theoretical values so if we subtract observable value from theoretical value we will get error in this column so we have done so for each data set above values for x and y could be plotted on a graph and a straight line could be found so here in this x axis we put independent variables and in the y axis we will put values for both observable as well as theoretical variables which are dependent variables so these red dots represent observable values and these blue dots represent theoretical values hence this distance is the error like that when we square each of these errors and add them all up the total should be as small as possible that is why it is called least squares because we don't want a vast difference between these two values that means both observable and theoretical values should be almost equal one more thing we can calculate from here suppose harry predicts 6 hours of sun for a particular day hence he can calculate the number of fruits using the formula that is y is equal to 1.52x plus 0.3 so here we have 6 hours of sun that is x is 6 here so y is 9.42 so we can say this method is used to predict the behavior of dependent variables since each point of data represents the relationship between a known independent variable and an unknown dependent variable